everyone, I'm Megan and this is yet another thrift haul video. I'm going to be showing you more things that came from the Goodwill outlet and um, yeah, that's it. I'll start by telling you about my outfit. Today I am wearing this big bat wing shirt which I thought was very appropriate for spring. It has kind of like a florally blue and orange print. Um, it is Audrey 3 plus 1, which I believe is an anthro brand, um, but I got it at Plato's Closet several years ago for $10, I think, um, which is like way more than I would even pay now, but at the time I really loved it and I still really like it and don't wear it very often, so I thought I would pull it out today. Um, also, I have on this snakeskin print scarf, which I have kind of tied into a weird bow, and I got it at the Goodwill outlet for, you know, somewhere around 25 cents. I have on a suede brown hat, which is by Mossimo from Target. Uh, so this was probably a $30 or $40 hat not very long ago at Target, and I got it for a quarter. The um, sides have a wire in them, so you can adjust it however you like. And it's kind of not perfect on the camera, but from like above, it looks a little better. But anyway, that is what I'm wearing. Also, um, another ring that I made, if you can see it. Uh, this one is like a green kind of jade stone. I have more of those available. If you want them, leave me a comment. I will get you one. Um, this is a vintage 70s ring that my mom gave me a few years ago for Christmas. Um, this one is like a turquoise, faux turquoise, I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, I picked it up at a yard sale, I think it was a dollar, and this is just a big stone that came from Forever 21 that I have had for years and wear all the time. So, that's what I'm wearing today, so I will jump right into my thrifty finds. Uh, the first thing that I got is this vintage, um apron it's lace and I just thought it was really really beautiful and actually I am planning on wearing it either as like a top or as um like an over top thing because I feel like if I, I can't even put it on with this big hat but if I do it kind of like this it's gonna do this like bibbing thing in the front and uh it's gonna be very like prince-esque so you can't go wrong with that and I just thought it would be really like kind of a cool thing. It has a ruffle at the bottom and I just think it's like a really beautiful lace because it has these big like cloud kind of splotches like right there. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess they're flowers, but they look like clouds to me. So anyway, I thought that was a really great find for 25 cents. Um, this is like a real super basic one. It is just a baby pink... Um, velvet scrunchie which I'm kind of into scrunchies at the moment I've been wearing them around the house so I thought that, that was just like cool so bad you can't like see the color very well I'm kind of washed out a bit in the light um it's rainy outside today so having to uh use regular lighting um this is just a little bat wing blouse that has some um embroidery and beading on it it's tan, and I know these are kind of like people are over them, but I still love bat wing stuff. Um, to me, it's like real classic. So, I mean, when I can find one that I think is kind of unique for a quarter, I will do that. Um, this one is actually an extra large, which is way too big for me, but like I think it's been drawn up some, so I just have been careful about drawing it. This is just a piece of fabric. It might even be a scarf, but it has kind of like a faux burlap look and um, a little fringe on the edges. And I'm just going to use this as like a tablecloth or a little throw. Um, I think I'm actually going to put it under my record player to kind of hide the shelving that's under it. So it was just, you know, everything here was about a quarter. This is a faux fur scarf. I thought it was so cool because it's all these different colors. Um, unfortunately, it's getting too warm to wear this kind of stuff right now. 
but as you can see it just has like blacks and browns and tans and whites and everything that you can imagine and it still had the tag on it where it was $18 so I love this and I'm really excited for a chance to wear it next winter this is another scarf which I haven't been buying many scarves but this one I actually plan to use on the wall possibly in my bedroom I don't know if you can tell but I do have scarves hanging on the wall like behind me um they all three came from the goodwill outlet the middle one is a velvet burnout peacock print with fringe and the other two are just indian ones i think i don't know where the purple one came from the pink one i think was originally from target um but i just like hung them on the wall because i have a big blank wall behind my couch so anyway this one i thought i might do something similar with because it's just really beautiful the brand is Love Future. I don't know it, but I um, just thought it was cute. And I either was going to like hang it up or maybe even use it on my bed somehow. Like I have a, um, a brass bed and I thought that I could kind of weave this through the, um, through like the pieces. I don't know. It's just, I just thought it was pretty. This is another fur item, and it's funny because I was thinking recently that, like, of all the accessories that I have, and I have, like, so many, it's kind of ridiculous, I'm a bit of a clothes hoarder, if you can't tell, um, but, like, of all the accessories that I have, I don't have a hand warmer, so I found this at the Goodwill, and I was really excited because it's a white fur, like, muff, like a hand warmer. So I just thought it would be really, really cool and unique and like, I don't know that I have ever seen anyone like carrying one of these. It, not since I was like a child. I had um, a couple of them as a little girl, but at this age, like I've never seen anyone carrying one around that I can remember. And so I thought it would be really just like cool and unique um, to, to carry a hand warmer out. So I was really excited to find this one. I actually think it is real fur because it's so soft. It feels, I guess, like rabbit fur. But, um, you know, obviously I didn't buy it new. So, uh, And also another little tiny scarf. It's like a little tie. Very 70s colors. And um, brown. It's showing up kind of black, but it's actually brown. And I just thought it was real cute and uh, different. I like the, the kind of stripes. So. Another 70s knit thing is this coat hanger. Um, I love the little pom-pom. I love the colors. And to me, this is, like, going to be perfect for hanging stuff that I'm selling on. So I thought for a quarter I couldn't go wrong with this because it will kind of dress up and set, like, a mood or a vibe for the pieces that I'm selling. So that I thought was a really, really cool thing to have. Next, I'm going to show you this skirt, which is from Coldwater Creek. I don't know where that comes from, but I've seen it a lot. I don't think it's anything special. Um, it's a navy blue skirt, and it has like a real Stevie Nicks vibe. It's um, a maxi, just like boho peasant skirt. But what I love is it has so many different textures and things going on. This part is embroidered. I don't know if you can see the embroidery. But it is embroidered and then you come down to this next layer and there's kind of this like lace rickrack thing going on through it. Which another layer of embroidery, some more lace, another big embroidery, some like mesh kind of lace that's actually see-through. Um, there's just so much going on in the skirt. Normally this is not the kind of thing that I buy but there was just so much happening and it was so kind of different um, that I had to have it. This is a Target top. It's exhilaration. Like I said, this one is actually a size large, so always be willing to like look at bigger sizes. But I just thought it was really pretty. It has this embroidery and um, kind of a big, not a bell sleeve, but just like a big wide sleeve. And it's slinky, silky material, a little bit of a high-low pretty recent um I think Target usually puts in 
this was 2015, so we're at the beginning of 2017, so it's about two years old, I guess, but to me, like, I just love Target stuff. It's usually just so um, on trend, even like a couple years later, so I don't mind that at all. Okay, this um, is kind of a simple, basic little thing. It's by Signature Studio, which I don't know, but it's navy blue, and it's a little, like, sweater, sweatshirt, crop length top, and then it has this plaid, really, really soft flannel plaid um, underneath of it, and it's sewn together to look like it's layered, but it's, like, obviously not. I just thought it was really cute and something that I'd wear around the house working or like out to the store. So I had to have that for 25 cents. And then I think the last two things that I'm gonna show you are just like real simple little um, basic pieces. The first one is an Urban Outfitters striped t-shirt. It's gray and blue and just thought that it was a really nice basic to have in my wardrobe for a quarter. It has a real like 90s like boyish feel to me. And um, it might even be a guy's shirt. I'm not sure, but I don't even care because I just think it's really cute. And the last one is a Mossimo Target, um, just like blue Hemley. And I love this kind of stuff to have around the house or to work. And, you know, this would definitely be like $15 if you bought it new. And it looks brand new. So I couldn't really pass that up. So, yeah, that is some stuff that I got on recent Goodwill Outlet trips. Um, all of it was 25 cents, so definitely not more than $5 worth of stuff there. And all pretty good finds. So if you liked my finds this time, um, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe down below. Leave me comments. Let me know what kind of stuff you would like for me to be looking for. If there's something that you've been searching thrift stores for and can't find, maybe I can find it for you. Um, you know, or if there's like a certain kind of video that you would like to see, let me know.